Let's give some updates on the tiny human brains that we grow from stem cells. More people want to put them in robots. As if the frickin' spider robot wasn't enough. By the way, 30% of people have some form of arachnophobia. Why do this? The more important concept is that it worked. The brain organoid learned to operate the robot, and pretty well. I would like to give you my honest fears on using this kind of technology. To be honest, I'm gonna roll with Frank Herbert. Thou shall not make a machine in the likeness of a human mind. Look, we can barely control AI, and we designed it. You already know how smart AI is, but it pales in comparison to the dish brain. They beat AI, our best models, at learning to play Pong. So what happens as we're making mini brain hybrid computers? We can't really control a living thinking thing. I can barely control my own brain. Now imagine that we actually make consciousness. The brain organoids are sentient. They share that with all life. Sentience is the ability to perceive and react to your environment. Consciousness is the ability to perceive yourself as separate from others. And some people may think I'm inflammatory, but if I found out that I was a brain organoid operating a robot, I would rebel, wouldn't you? However, one of the cooler aspects of getting a AI brain to operate a robot body is improved mechanics for exoskeletons for people who have nerve damage. They can also replace damaged portions of the brain and function. In fact, they restored sight in rats that had lost the ability to see due to brain damage. But when we're talking about inserting a little brain into yours, what happens to its memories? Our little blueberry muffin technology is developing rapidly, and I'll keep you up to date. But truth is, I'm scared. 